Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the GWC 411 Unscripted. I'm JR. And I'm Monica. And we are finally back, Monica. I know, it's been a while. It's been a while. Monica had uh, some surgery done. And uh, now, as you might have, some of you might have seen her, she, you know, kind of limping around and stuff. Limping? I'm yes. on crutches. What do you oh, mean limping? Oh, crutches, that's right. But you know what the cool thing about it? I wish it? I could limp. You're going to have a cool limp. You're going to be like a, like, a, like, like a cool little walk. That is really mean. Why? I'm not going to have a limp. I'm, the, the, the goal is not to have a limp. Oh, okay. I thought you were just going to have that cool swag oh walk God. now. Like, hey, everybody, what's up? No? I never even walked like that in the first place. Oh, you did? Okay, never mind, guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you really you really do know how to make fun of me, but it's okay. I'm used I'm, to it. Oh, okay. To it. So, Monica, we have a lot to talk about because it's been, I, I believe, over a couple of weeks that we haven't done this. But we have some very exciting news to be talking about because uh, we have a special event coming up this Thursday. This Thursday? Yes, this Thursday. Oh, that's right. It is this Thursday, the 28th. We have our Coffee Conversations, which, you know, is going to be held here at Plaza Place, at Plaza West Covina on the second floor. Most of you guys have been here before, and it's a great, you know, small little venue. So we're kind of excited about I love that venue. Yeah, I do too. And it's right across. So just in case you guys don't know, it's r literally across from H&M. Right, H and M, and Forever Twenty One, and Forever Twenty One, mm -hmm. like in between H and M and Forever Twenty One, but H and M. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's 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 a great venue. Um, it's not very big, but it suits you know a, a lot of our events that we've held. And, yeah, a lot um, of meetings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so with that said, we're gonna be we're actually gonna be handing out certificates to uh, those who have joined the GWC since since January of twenty twenty four. Um, so I'm kind of excited to be highlighting, you know, um, some of these members because I know that, you know, it, it used to be where we used to actually do a lot of grand openings and that's when we give them their mm -hmm. certificate, but this is kind of going to be a little bit different where, um, where, uh, we'll be doing it in front of other members and, and, and just, you know, trying to incorporate everybody and making everybody feel welcome, of course. Yes. Cause we have some really new members and even, um, we have a, a new we have a we have a brand new president circle member. That's what I was about to get. You see, God, you read my mind right here. Fats Auto Group, <laughs> Fats Auto Group are located right there in the city of Covina. Really great guy. He's been helping me and my family for a while now with our, our cars, buying cars, and and uh, they are uh, used cars, but they're buying. Uh, but they but he certifies them. He's done. Uh, me and my family are our, our car services right. I've never had any complaints. Plus. He always goes above and beyond for us. And that's what I like about yeah, him. Yeah, I know. When I met him, I, I just, you know, I didn't believe a lot of things that you said. But, you know, once I met him. Because everyone I says actually, things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I had to kind of see it for myself. And I saw their customer service while I was there and just kind of eyeing things out. And, and um, no, he his personality is just outstanding. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, and his facility is looks like it's, you know, top of the line. And um, so, yeah, I mean. Fats uh, Auto. Yeah. Welcome to the president. Auto circle you might yes. and um we're hoping he'll he, he, he says he's gonna show up <laughs> so he will be there he's just a man that ha is very busy he's but very think, busy but man. i think it's like with everybody right it's and and i think we've been talking about that and a lot, a lot of people don't understand that they said wow if you have you know almost 200 members how come they're not all at every event it's true it's so hard it's for business owners to get out and network mm -hmm. and that's what people don't understand so one of the things that we're going to be incorporating into what we're doing is hopefully opening up that door where you know what we'll come to you and mm -hmm. and if any of you that are you know working from home and you know you just have this idea where you want to host a mixer or you want to do something reach out to us so that we could reach out to some of our you know some of our our members that could probably open up their facility to be able to, and host to facilitate it. Yeah, yeah a lot of chambers are doing that and it seems to be working out great no, I, I love it. I love it. And yeah, you're right. So we understand, yes, because, you know, uh, Fats is, is, is a gentleman that he's very busy. And, mm -hmm. and he, he even said himself, I'm, I'm going to be there. You know, but he, yes, because he's he opens up the shop and he closes down his shop, mm -hmm. his dealership. Well, so he's very involved, involved, very involved and stuff. So, and I, so that's what I love about him and yeah. his family there. I went there the other day and his family's there. And he, it's just amazing family owned business that you guys got to go check out right there in the city of Covina, Fats Auto Group. And uh, they also do financing and they and, and all 
all the other things. And even if they don't have your car, he will go look for the car that you want as well. Mm-hmm. So, and then, um, so our president circle, we love every single one of our president circle. We're very proud to have every single one of these businesses up here. And yeah, we actually have uh, Edison Renew in their president circle yes. membership with us, which is great. Thank you so much to Edison for thank you, you know, thank for you. believing in us and, 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 and really supporting us with what we're doing. Um, because without our president circle, you know, um, uh, it would make it a lot harder to you know to uh, to uh, move forward with what we're doing. No, so. exactly. And, so. and 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 somebody. I mean, we've had a couple of our new members on our show. Even uh, Dean from DVGM, you know, uh, uh, the movement he, uh, hauling company and stuff. So and and uh, certain other people as well. So we are very excited to be able to recognize a lot of these new members into the uh, the GWC. And that's the, that's the great thing about even our existing members that we're able to come up, come and, and be a part as well and and uh, be able to interact and and see um, the, ne- the 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 network, you know, mm-hmm. to see the network. And so let's right now then let's just make, you know, open an invitation to all of those who own a business who, you know, because this this the GWC 411 was intended for a purpose. And the purpose is to highlight businesses. That's right. To bring business owners on to bring you know those people that are in um in um elected officials or you know anybody who is in the public eye um but mostly you know businesses to come and share you know i know i know that um when was it a couple weeks ago we went and we spoke uh we were the guest speakers for the west covina rotary Mm -hmm. at south hills and it was so nice i mean although we had um you know some difficulties with our presentation and, you know, our PowerPoint that we put together um, because, you know, they didn't have the equipment to um, to be able to play it. But but I think we did a really good job in describing some of the biz- some of the some of the uh, services and benefits, you know, from coming on our show. Yeah. And they started talking about, you know, websites and, and things like that. And, and social media. Yeah. And I was thinking about that, you know, I was thinking because we did say that web- somebody said our website's becoming obsolete. Mm-hmm. Right. I guess to some industries, yes, mm-hmm. right? Yes. But to people who sell things, no, it's essential. Yes, no, websites are very important. Right? And, and and they're not obsolete, but even if you had a landing page, you know, a one pager describing what your what your business is about and then maybe even directing them to your social media platforms Mm -hmm. because uh, yes websites landing pages are still very uh not not a whole website because people don't want to they're not searching like that anymore back like back in the day they're not searching uh you know and going through a whole website right now yes the the social media platforms because the way society because they can find everything on social media yeah and it's very quick and people can sell things on social media as well yeah so e-commerce sites are still available but that's the thing a landing page you could still put your e-commerce site on there you can still embed your social media your facebook feed your instagram you can still do those type of things so but but you got to get a little more creative to keep people on the page and Mm -hmm. stuff so yes it's almost obsolete because social like facebook they don't want you to leave facebook so they create that e-commerce page on facebook and now you can just buy things on facebook because they don't want their uh users to leave facebook so they're they're customizing yeah, and that. it just depends on the industry again and in, in the industry that you're that, that you're mm-hmm. in i think you know back in the day for you know for chambers website was you know um it was it was very essential um i i still like to browse through websites for certain things because i uh, to me that shows that they're legitimate mm-hmm. you know um but i know that um that uh just it just depends on the industry, so I just kind of no. It does. It, does take, it yeah. depends on the industry. You you are right too. Yeah, about that. It does you depend know? on the industry because yeah, if you're a nonprofit organization, there's only so much you could put on Instagram and Facebook to describe what your what your organization does. So there is has there has to be some type of website because people want to know, uh, especially if you're a nonprofit, what they're but, giving but, to. But would you would you agree Would you agree with this? Because I, like I said, I was thinking about it, and so. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys agree or not. I don't know. Let me know if you do or if you don't. But to me, if I'm a b- small business and I have a website and I have to manage the website, then I have social media and, and I'm managing my social media uh, uh, platforms. 
it's so much for one person to do. <laughs> I mean, it's time consuming. Mm -hmm. People, some some people think that all you do is you just get on it and you just upload the video and that's it. No, you no. gotta learn how to make it go viral. How to mm -hmm. how, whether you're gonna put it on your on your story or you're gonna put it on a regular post or if you wanted to do the what is it reels and there's just so much. So I don't know. It's just. So time consuming. It can become overwhelming. It, yes, very overwhelming because if you're not doing things timely, I remember he, he chews me. He chewed me out one time because <laughs> I thought I was doing a really good job, you know, for my bed, and and I was posting left and right all these things that were going on. <laughs> I got yelled at because I didn't know about algorithms and yes. you know if if if, if, if it's you know uh, social media is picking it up on because you're not supposed you're, to post back to back to back to back you got to post one post give it a little bit of tr of time so you can get but traction that's on instagram right that's on instagram facebook that's facebook all of it too? yes oh my god because then what happens is that post that you just did kind of goes down and the new post comes up so people now have to look back and go back now to look at your previous post oh. so you that's why you have to get like a, a couple of hours or so you post something boom Wait for a couple hours. You could post again. You could post up to three to four times a day, but don't bam, 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 right? Like, oh, because that's what I did. Like <laughs> one minute after another, yeah. Because then you're not giving your post the traction, and, and then you see people going, oh, "It's not getting any views." Well, of course, because the, the 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 last post that you posted in 20 seconds uh is going to get the the traction that you're looking for See, so it's a lot i mean i think it's a lot for businesses to do that i mean just just you know just you know shooting pictures and and doing things and knowing mm -hmm. how to how to do it it's so much to manage you know and it seems like social media is it right now versus you know websites and, and things it. like that yes. i mean i mean kudos to those who have you know outstanding websites because mm -hmm. oh my god it's a lot of work and it's very expensive but mm -hmm. um but also kudos to those who can manage their their social media platforms you know on a timely manner <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to do our best too we yeah. try very hard uh, we basis to stay very consistent yeah. on our social media platform and uh, and we also we always get a lot of great compliments from a lot of you guys saying that you know we always see you, your, your feed your videos and we thank you guys for that as well but those w sometimes we you know we get tired too you know we yeah. do too and we slip a little bit but we that's the importance of staying on top of what you know what, what it is right now in society and stuff and and uh we're gonna get more creative you know because just to give a quick tip i want to give them a quick social media tip since we're on social media i don't know how we got into social media but no i just wanted to talk about it because i think it's important it goes with what we're doing right now too you right know? okay so there's three types of videos that go viral pictures go viral once in a great while pictures will go viral depending depending on what type of picture and platform that you're putting it on but there's three types of videos that go viral and if you do any of these three videos your video will go viral or you can mix the what I'm gonna say type of videos and they'll go viral is is uh, funny because everybody loves to laugh so funny videos go viral inspirational videos so when you're inspiring people people like to be inspired so they go viral and informational videos People like to be informed, and people are always looking for information. So if you do any of those type of three videos, your video will go viral. And it's not that hard to really just get into those type of three videos. Just know what your business is, know what you're selling. If you're a business that does uh, something that you feel like, like real estate, and you're like, well, I could do funny videos, but I don't want people to be thinking that I'm a, just a funny person. I am, you know, a, a business, and I'm trying to get those good clients, so I want them to respect me. Then be, then you should be putting out a lot of videos that are informational about the real estate industry, because now people are going to come to your page because you're constantly giving information that they're looking for because they're buying, hmm. and that's what you do. I don't know. I just think it's a lot of work. I mean, you do a good job because I, if it was me, I'd just You look overwhelmed right now. Yeah, I would, I would, I would just <laughs> pose and pose. And, and, and me, you know, my tip would be to just to stay original. You know, don't try to copy anything. A lot of people go on yes. TikTok and they try to, you know, mimic what, you know, some of the TikTokers are doing that, you know, have trending videos on there and stuff. And it's a lot of work because you can, you, when you go on TikTok and you, and you research a certain industry, oh my God. And me personally, I don't, if I was to see, if I were to see a real estate person doing videos, 
like I see one right now on our on our on our social media, mm-hmm. and I really like it that he doesn't make it about himself. He makes it about the houses that he sells. Oh yeah, see, and That's it. oh my God, I'm like wow, but I don't even know what this guy looks like. Oh, so it's his voice. Yeah, it, it, no, not not even a voice. He just has like words and stuff, and and just like this outstanding videos of homes. I mean, I know what his title is. I mean, his name is and everything. But I really look forward to seeing his homes, and and they're like here in the San Gabriel Valley, and I really like them. I really like his videos because it, he really showcases these homes, and these homes are not like super expensive homes. It's just mm-hmm. like the regular home, but but the way he, he fi- puts it together, and he fixes. Yeah, but the houses are fixed up i don't know oh, how okay. they do that so i don't know it's just it's, it's just social media websites everything is it's just it's just you know evolving every day there's something new so for for businesses you know again i'll go back to for businesses to get out and network and still you know do all this social media i mean i don't know my suggestion would be to find yourself you know a college student someone who loves to be you know because on social media yeah yes. on social media and then you know eventually you will figure it out right no oh, definitely but um but you know but networking it's still it's still very important that people know you personally mm-hmm. that they see you even you know i mean even if you don't come to our events but that you're getting out there and you you're you're still you know uh uh being in contact with other you know with other mm-hmm. people with other people you know in other industries you know to expand your business i don't know i just think that's so important no it is so it's important and as you're saying that right now i i just um I feel, and, 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 and maybe it's just me, but I, I know this is you too, is that we need to get back to being face-to-face again. You know, as much as that society during COVID put us at a place where it was all, you know, through, you know, um, virtual. Zoom and virtual, uh, right now is a great time to get face-to-face once again uh, because there's nothing more powerful than uh, one-on-one marketing face to face let them get to know you and, and and us putting these events on we make sure that you're going to have a good time there. but can i say something funny another observation. when don't you <laughs> <laughs> can i just make mention of another observation so i have two friends who work in the medical field okay. and a lot of their events are still virtual unfortunately wow so one of the things that she noticed and then i noticed that on tv one of the commercials was about that you know um because again covid forced us to be to to um to uh to you know be more virtual. Be on, 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 and, yeah, and video and, and video and all yeah, stuff, yeah. facetime and everything but i know for a fact that there's thousands of men and women who have seen themselves enough that sometimes we hide our real selves and put a photo mm. on, um, so that we're not, you know, so that we're not showing all the imperfections that we pick up on videos. Oh. Mm. Because there's no Photoshopping it on, on Photoshopping the real you in person on, on virtual. Uh, you can oh, do virtual, like, yeah. Yeah, you can just do like a soft uh, light or little oh. things like that. And and the other day, because of you know, because I had my surgery, I had to be on at my on my board meeting. My board meeting, I had to. I was the only one on on Zoom know, on Zoom, and. I was really picking up a lot of imperfections and I noticed that I don't look the same. <laughs> you know, my nose looked big. I felt shiny. <laughs> I felt like I looked really shiny. And so I was I was like, oh my God. And, so and you weren't paying attention to the meeting. You're looking at what you look no, at. No, of course I was paying attention oh, okay. to my Just meeting, sure. but I was also looking at myself. Like, <laughs> you know, and I was saying, is that the real me? Obviously, yeah, it is, you know, because because you know social media uh, um, and and you know apps and stuff, it gives us you know the ability to kind of make, yeah. make ourselves yeah. look uh, uh, you know adjust a little better. Yeah, yes. you know sometimes too much. Let's be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. I've had made the mistake because wow, I look beautiful. If I could only look like that, you know, <laughs> you know. But but um, but but to go back to to be, you know. Per, in per, in in person um, um, gatherings, yes. I would rather. 100% be face to face with someone 
than to do the Zoom thing because on Zoom I'm picking on myself. Mm. I'm you know on Zoom I'm picking yeah. myself on on uh, whatever it is that's through the computer FaceTime whatever I'm picking on myself, <laughs> and you know and that's not fair to me and to my state of mind <laughs> and to my <laughs> pocket because <laughs> to my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to my money because then there I am going to my, you know, to Med Spa and telling Sarah, hey, <laughs> I got crow's feet, you know, <laughs> you know. So, okay. and I noticed that that there's a Botox commercial that talks about that. You know, the people that are talking mm -hmm. about Botox, they're sitting there and they're saying, you know, I do a lot of Zoom meetings, and you know, and ever since I when I got Botox, now I really, you know, I see myself looking a lot better and refreshed because some of us do look tired on video. We do look tired on 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 certain platforms, and so again, our pocket. You know, start shrinking because of that. <laughs> so society is really messing with us. I don't know. Just come and let's be personal better. All right. You heard her. Don't do the Zoom. Don't make us do a Zoom so you focus on yourself. You come March 28th, okay? <laughs> And so you can see us in person. Yes. yes. And then you know for real, like, who I am, you know, because I don't know. I just think that's so important. To, and, and I'm starting to really, like, really – really educate myself and really psych myself out that you know what just the way i look i'm enough yes you know yes. so and and just try to get out of that whole you know fixing this and fixing that because it's too much you yeah. know i think I, I'm, maybe it's because i'm tired and i had surgery and i just don't feel my best right now but <laughs> but I, i'm just starting to feel like I'm, I'm coming to that point where i just feel like you know what the way i am is enough you know like i don't need just because you know we're in the public eye you know I, I, because then when people see you and you're not that person that they've seen on your photos it's kind of sad if you look really really bad so no it's sad if you look really really different yeah so just so. love yourself for who you are for what you are and you know what, you know what that's a good business tip of the week yeah and let's come face <laughs> to, let's come face to face and you know what and network and talk to each other and 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 let's not be so critical of our own selves i try not mm -hmm. to criticize other people but if i see that it's really really bad sometimes i don't know i i can't bite my tongue it's weird mm -hmm. so um but but again, that's why I think, you know, like you said, you know, it's important that we come together, especially in the business, in the business industry, that we come together and we meet each other in person uh, versus, you know, a lot yeah. of DMs and then a lot of back and forth. And that's also another thing. I'm really lazy to text. I'm like the laziest text mm -hmm. texter person. I'm like a one word person. Yeah. Oh, one time I tried not to be, and I did a whole spill and I got criticized to say, you used AI, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, coach. <laughs> you know, and I did. I, I you know, because AI, again, th there we go. I thought I got a personal. It was so long, I thought I got a nice personal. I was like, yep, thanks for using AI. I appreciate it. And she's like, oh, my God, but I still pull my. Nope, thanks for using AI. I appreciate it. But look, at this. I, wanted, I wanted to say this because, you know, um, being there in person, March 28th, I, I feel maybe some people might say, well, I'm not going to go. I've gone to so many networking events. And there are, maybe you're on the fence right now. Should I go? Should I not go? And I'm going to say this. Go. Because when I feel like that, not to want to go to a place, when I do go, I always get something out of it no, and that I would have missed yeah. if I didn't go. Yeah. So when you have that feeling that, you know what? Uh, I, I, I'm not lying. It has happened to me many times where I'm like, I don't want to go. I really don't want to go, I, you know, whatever. And then I say, you know what, but I'm going to go. I end up having a great time. I end up meeting some new people, making some better connections, learning about something I did not even know about. And, and I'm, not just, I'm not lying. I'm not don't just saying it here. Don't say you're not lying. No, I, well, I'm, not, I'm not saying that just to get them to come. I'm being I'm really just I'm not lying serious. means you're lying. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound like the President of the United States. Ah, I'm not <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I know. You know what? Just come. If you're on the fence, just come because that's just a sign that you need to be here March 28th. Whether you've been a member for a long time, whether you just joined, maybe you've been a member for about a year, come out and be a part of what we're doing this 
Thursday at 8 a.m. right here at Plaza West Covina, man. It's going to have a good time. I mean, we're yeah. having a really good time. Yeah, and, and, and it's understandable. It's understandable, you know, from, from my perspective and your perspective, you know, now that you're here because we go to so many events. Sometimes, you know, you get burned out because yeah, you, sometimes you, feel we get burned you, out. you feel that you see the same people, the same old thing or whatever. And that's why, you know, our our, next, our, our Coffee Connection events like this Thursday, um, they're every quarter. So we're not going to, you know, we're not going to try to get you right. out there every month. Everyone month. burned out. Y- yeah, it. every month. Um, you know, we're going to do it every quarter so that it feels different. And then there's new people. Gives us an opportunity to have, you know, new members. New members. And, um, and invite, you know, different people in different industries, to, you know, as far as like our speakers and stuff. And, um, and so every quarter... You know, you should look forward to our coffee conversations. Mm-hmm. And, and another thing, and I always tell everybody this, and I know you give me kudos for that, but if you see, if you're part of other chambers or you're part of, you're part of other business associations, mm-hmm. you know, take turns attending these events because you never right. going to know what you're missing, you know, unless, unless, you know, unless you miss it. Did I say that right? You never know. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what you're missing unless you miss it. Yeah. 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 So. Try to attend, you know, like I said, you know, you might just meet that one person that, you know, that you could do business with or or really click with. And then you, you know, you've made yeah. another friend or, you know, another acquaintance that, you know, that could help you grow your business. So, you know, um, and, and know another good reason for you to come this Thursday, because you, they could give us some input on what we can do a better or adjust. Or things maybe you, you've had some concerns or maybe you want to compliment us on the back and say we're doing a great job. But this is an opportunity. <laughs> I'm not opening up that, 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 um, that what's it called? All right, great. So when you see a big old long line in front of me. My <laughs> I'm saying everybody to him. I no, but I mean seriously because so many people uh, don't have the time to come to the office and, and, and share. Or, or maybe even like, hey, how can we better help each other? Because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, this is a partnership with our members. So – Come this Thursday too. That's another reason to be able to talk to us face to face. I, I, I think I'm going to do it a little different because you what? know what? I like to hear from people. Some of these ideas, like this one, he just kind of threw it at us right now. But um, <laughs> you're going to find some <laughs> suggestion cards, you know, where you could actually make suggestions and you can just fill it out and hand it to us. Okay, who's that? printing that? You know me. All right, you're going to print that. Yeah. That's part of what I love to do. So Okay, Monica's um, going to print some suggestion cards. Yeah, because there's not and a lot of conversations that you could have at these networking events. And that's another thing about networking. You can't go to networking events and expect to have big, long conversations with people. You have to learn to make them short and sweet, to the point, and move on to the next person. Don't get stuck with just one person and think you can't make other friends, because you certainly can't. And you mm-hmm. know, people that tend to have big, long conversations with one person, if if you're trying to catch my attention, you I might come off rude because somebody's going to interrupt me. And what are the chances of that happening? A hundred percent. I could tell you right now that that would happen. Not that I'm trying to avoid, you know, difficult conversations because I don't. But being that I've been in this industry for such a long time, I, I've learned that I keep everything very minimal to the point and um, mm-hmm. and then, you know, and then well, that's why the, it gives doors me an are opportunity. Open. Yeah. And it gives me an opportunity to now email them. Text them, call them, however you want to connect mm-hmm. with this person. Look, you know, follow them on social media. I mean, there's just well, our so doors, many like ways. I was saying right now, our doors are open. Yeah. for the longer conversations. Yeah, to come in here Monday through Friday and be able to sit down with us and have about a half hour to an hour of our time and be able to really, really share. But hey, yeah, but like you said, but we're a- but they- but they're able to plant the seed of what yeah. we want to talk about and, for- and then schedule an appointment. Exactly, and for. All those of you who are planning on attending this Thursday, remember, get it together. Get it together because you are going to be asked three things. Ooh. Do you know what those three things are? No, I'm kind of scared right now. Who are you? Okay. What do you do? Mm. And how can we find you? Oh, nice. Yeah. Who are you? What do you do? And where can we those find you? Those are some you? good three questions because it makes you think if you don't have those, whoa. Whoa. And so when you go up there, because we are going to give you the mic, we are going to give you, you know, um, um, an opportunity to come out and address, you know, our guests and uh, present you with a certificate, you know, welcoming you to the greater West Covina. Mm -hmm. And uh, we might have some um, uh, one of our local legislators do this, you know, hand out a a certificate also Um, to those. um, I'm telling you right now, if you know. 
just know what you know um don't go into a big old you know big old thing about you know how you got started and yada 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 no, no, how about a minute you know about yeah. a minute or so yeah and, and it's fine we're very respectful if you go a little bit longer it's fine we love that um but but just know those three things because those things are important you know who are you what do you do and um and how do people find you and if you have business cards that we welcome those if you are a business who sells things or or um um, if you want to donate a raffle prize, we welcome that as well. People yes. always love to win things. Yes, Unfortunately, we're not part of the raffle, so don't get excited. Um, Bring two. No, <laughs> <I'm just playing. laughs> no, we have a couple of items here that we're gonna be that we're gonna be um, yes. um, raffling off um, on that day as well from some of our members. Mm-hmm. Um, so so just so yeah just make sure you know uh you come and you have a good time and and make sure you introduce yourself if you you know if you are fairly new but just know that we'll know you yeah we'll definitely know you so thank you guys again for tuning in to the gwc 401 and thank you guys for being patient because i know you know like i said we had a little break for a while but we are back and we are excited and we're going to do a lot of great things and you'll know a lot more what's taking place in the next couple of months when we see you this Thursday, March 28th. Yes. Can I just say thank you to all of those who have sent me, you know, thank you. Thank you. Best wishes, you know, um, um, uh, what recovery wishes mm. and the flowers and candy and chocolate chip cookies and all kinds wow. of stuff. Flowers I was, and all. Man, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> gonna, I might go to surgery right now so I can get some, some of that stuff, guys. I just want to say <laughs> thank you to all of you. I really appreciate it with all my heart. So with that, we're going to say goodbye. We look forward to, um, to seeing you guys soon and don't forget to watch us every Tuesday at 6 p.m. on Facebook, YouTube, and see our previews on Instagram.